Five disappearance of Center County District Attorney Ray Greekar be solved once and for all. A friend and colleague of Greekar says yes. The I team reported on the Greekar case Tuesday night as part of a week long look at cold cases across our region. Lead investigator Andy Mahalshik joins us in studio with this I team follow up report. Andy? Well, good evening, Mark. Robert Buner, the former Montour County District Attorney who serves as DA for 20 years there, reached out to the I-Team after our report aired on Tuesday. He says he's had information for quite some time that he believes could help solve this mystery surrounding the disappearance of Ray Greekar. Complete heartbreak that this mystery, this enigma has not been resolved. Robert Buner says he has researched the disappearance of his good friend Ray Greekar since the early days of the investigation. In fact, he has a file filled with information that he has collected and says he's confident this information, as well as other information already gathered by investigators over the last 15 years, could lead to answers. I strongly believe that Ray Greekar was the victim of foul play. I felt that from the earliest days of the uh, investigation. An investigation that began to unfold on April 15, 2005. Greekart told his longtime girlfriend that he was going for a ride. He took the day off that day. His red Mini Cooper was found the next day parked outside the street shops, an antique mall in Lewisburg in Union County. His cell phone was inside the car. It was turned off. His laptop was found two weeks later in the nearby Susquehanna River. The hard drive was also missing. It, too, was later found in the same river, but data could not be retrieved from it. Buner tells the I-Team. I strongly believe that there are several people that are um, still alive, who know what happened to Ray Greekar, know how he was lured to Lewisburg, and know what happened after the, he was in Lewisburg. Buner says over the years, people have contacted him about the case. From the information that I received from um, pub sources that reached out to me, which I passed on to investigators, I had a pretty strong sense of, in general, who was responsible. The actual details, no. But specifically, who did it? Yes. It is an open case. The state police have uh, a lead detec detective assigned to it. Every year, I get uh, I, we get we get leads and we follow them up. Bernie Cantorna took over as Center County District Attorney in 2018. He says he too was a friend of Ray Greekar. I asked him about the information that Buner says he forwarded on to investigators years ago. I can't comment on the specifics regarding what he would have forwarded to the state police or the Belfont police, but there has there's been multiple task force meetings. There have been rooms of investigators that have looked at every piece of evidence because this is as, as an important case for law enforcement as any that exists. And uh, and we will we will review any information that comes to our office. And DA Cantorna urges anybody who has information about the case, no matter how insignificant they think it might be, to contact state police at Rockview or the Center County District Attorney's Office. Mark? Andy, is there any discussion that Greek car may have wanted to vanish or possibly do harm to himself? Well, Mark, investigators tell me now and back then that both of those scenarios have been examined fully and they simply did not pan out. There's no evidence pointing in those directions, but we'll keep you posted. It has been quite a mystery, Andy. Thank you.